Lovely Butterfly, welcome back, it's France. For this new mixed media shorty, I am going to be using one of my new stencils and a couple of my new stamps. But before doing that, I wanted to have some color on my little piece of paper, which is watercolor paper. So I started with my brayer and just applied a layer upon layer of fresco finish. I chose colors from one and the same family. Um, and I will be listing all the colors and products that I used in the description of this video. And here it is, my brand new Harlequin stencil, which features a couple of crosses, circles, and then of course the Harlequin pattern, which I love to bits. Again, going in with fresco finish, this time with um, a sponge thingy, <laughs> just dabbing on the color through the stencil and mixing them up just a little to have a not so flat surface. It is super easy to clean. And yes, I wanted to show that because some stencils are just a pain in the butt to clean. This one isn't. And then again, I went back in with some more fresco finish to blend that first stenciled layer into the background. Of course, I will be layering some more on top of that. <laughs> but before going back in with the stencil, I also wanted to add some white accents here and there with my palette knife. I'm just making the pleasure last instead of just going in with the stencil again and again and again. I'm like, let's play around and enjoy this moment. Like I said, going back in with the stencil. This time I'm using the Harlequin pattern and I'm also using some crackle paste from Golden. I'm applying it in a pretty thin layer, just in one corner. And I left it aside to dry by itself. That is the best way to have the best crackles. To give that crackle paste a bit of color and to make those um, cracks show up more, I'm going in with Lindy's sprays, but I'm not just spraying on the paper. I'm applying using um, the spray tube directly on the paper and then blending it in with some water. This will give me a more diffused um, color and it will keep the color a bit more where I want to have it because I want to intensify the color in that one particular corner, but not everywhere. And as you can see, I'm mixing up a whole bunch of colors. Again, these are all listed in the description of this video. If you have any problems getting your crackle paste to crackle, I'll also link um, the video that I did on crackle mediums, where I explain why sometimes it crackles and why sometimes it doesn't. I keep on building the layers um, just to intensify the color again and again and again. No matter how many new stencils I come up with, this one will always be a favorite, but it's coming soon with a little extra surprise. Stay tuned for that. For now, I just traced it using my new yummy charcoal pencil, which is water soluble. And I'm going in with a tiny bit of water, blending it in and pulling the color towards the center of the circle, which will give me a very soft, very natural, organic gradient. I'm 
I also want to intensify the harlequin pattern that I have going on. So I'm going back in with my same charcoal pencil, but instead of blending it with water, I'm blending it using a blending stump because going back in with water would dilute all that yummy Lindy's Gang color that I have going on. And I don't want that. I don't want to dilute things. I want to intensify things. So that's the fun thing about this charcoal pencil that you can actually use it according to the background that you have. I could not not add some more number stamps <laughs> to the new stamp sets. So just like with the previous one, I just have them all together on one acrylic block on my table because I use these all the time. And I started with black archival ink, but then I repeated the same thing with distress oxide. And that gives me like a fade out of the numbers on the spread. So this number series is longer than any that I've done previously, just so that you can cover a larger area with one line of numbers. For my focal point, I took out this plant from my Natural Beauty stamp set and just stamped it with archival ink on some Canson paper. And to colorize it in a way that would match my background, I used one of the Lindy's Gang sprays that I used for the background, but this time I'm using it as a watercolor with a water brush. As this is not watercolor paper, I have to be a little bit more careful. So I'm leaving it on the side to dry by itself. And meanwhile, I'm going to doodle around my circle. So I'm using um, a pigment pen and just doodling around it, being quite careful because I have quite some paint on the paper and I don't want to kill the nib of my pen. And then it's fussy cutting my focal image out. Another very fun stamp that you have on that same stamp set is that eeny meeny tiny little circle. You know how much I love my circles. So of course I need to stamp this one all over. <laughs> and then to make my focal image really pop from the background, I'm going to stamp it directly on the paper and then glue it with 3D foam so that it, it's really standing out. And I'm actually using the grid on the acrylic block to see where it is I need to stamp.
And now that I know the exact placement of my focal point, I can add some more of those funny, yummy little circles. <laughs> I thought it was all looking a little bit too sweet and nice, so I wanted to grunge it up a little. So I took my paint pens and added some splatters. Um, I matched the colors more or less to the backgrounds. I went in with gray, with pink, with white. And at the very end, I'll add some more splatters to grunge it up even more. But first, I want to glue down my focal image in 3D, which is, well, when you have so tiny little details to put your 3D foam on, <laughs> you need tweezers to put your 3D foam in the right place. The best way to bring everything together that I have going on on my little card and to make everything pop is to give it a black edge all around. And I don't just mean some black distress ink on the edge of the paper. So I'm going to put it on a piece of black cardstock. For my wording, I decided to use this eeny meeny tiny word from one of the new sticker sheets, which I'm not ready to show you just yet. You will need a little bit more patience, but this is so small that it also needed some black edge all around to make it pop from the paper. I'm gluing it down with 3D foam as well so that it stands at the same level as my focal point uh, itself. And then I'm giving it some color using Neo Colors too. I love how water soluble they are and how well they give my uh, little word this very organic way of picking up the color. And to finish it all off, I'm going around again with my same pen. Uh, adding a black doodling all around the little car. As I was doodling around, my mind convinced me that this was still not grungy enough. So here comes the black splatters. And now it is grungy. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this little sneaky peek at the new stamps and stencils. A huge thank you to my patrons for making all of this possible. Seriously, you are the best butterfly patrons in the world. For all of you butterflies out there, don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses.